the actual sign that Stacy held up on a busy road to help her daughter, Jessica. She, it was totally shocking. I, I was numb for a while. I don't know how else to explain it. I was told we need a transplant. And then first she's got to clear all the medical and physical and mental things before they could even put her on the transplant list. And of course we were getting through all that so she could get on it. Um, it, it was quite shocking for them to say, to tell us that because you would never know. She is sicker than she knows because the doctor also said that this has been coming on to her for so long that she really doesn't feel the difference. After she gets the new kidney and her body's functioning properly, then she'll realize how sick she has been. I had to do something. I did not know what to do. I could not wait a year for my daughter to get a kidney. And I thought, well, I grabbed a sign, wrote a letter, and went to the, the nearest busy street and just held it up. People offered lots of money, I'm sure. I could have, and it wasn't the money I was after. I was after a living, or a donor, period. How long was it before the University of Michigan called you back? And told me we had a kidney? Yes. The day before Thanksgiving. I couldn't believe the love of complete strangers. Um, yeah, because I was on the phone and I said, we got one, we got one, we got one. And she was freaking out. <laughs> she I was, was actually out. surprised the roof didn't come off the house yeah, because... I was zooming off on top of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and how'd you feel? I felt relieved. I felt so happy that night. Because if I got a tinny, I, I'm on this diet. And if I got a tinny, I can eat no more. There happened to be um, a man in the same city, in Bay City, Michigan, in her own hometown. He decides to pick up the phone and call University of Michigan. He got his call back later that he was indeed a match. And he saw your story, Jessica, and he wanted to give his kidney to you. Are you ready to meet the dog? Yes, I am. <laughs> Mom? Yes. Okay. Your donor is Brian Martindale. He is the donor. We'll be giving you your kidney.